to find the area of a circle, we need to know the radius. Now, inside the unique square, there's two unique circles. One is this one. There is the other with the same radius, AB. Now, we denote the tangent point as C. You see, C should be the midpoint of AB, right? And we denote the tangent point here as D and the center of the circle as O. Before moving on, we need to draw some help lines. So we change that to line. And the thickness. So we denote tangent line passing through D as DQ. Something like that. And then we connect AD. We also connect C and O. Let's get back to the pair. So we denote the tangent line as PQ. We know AD perpendicular to PQ, right? OD also perpendicular to PQ. That means A, O, D are on the same line. Now consider this triangle A, C, O. Here's a right angle. We denote the radius as R. And because A, C is half A, B, so A, C equals half. How about A, O? So A, O equals A, D minus O, D. Right? We know AD is the radius of the unit circle. 1 minus OD is R. So using Pythagorean theorem, we get AO squared equals AC squared plus OC squared. So we get 1 minus R squared equals AC, which is half, so squared plus OC, which is R squared. Let's expand it. So we get 1 minus 2R plus R squared equals a quarter plus R squared. Both sides subject to R squared. So we get 1 minus 2R equals 1 over 4. Now move this turn to the left side, this turn to the right side. So 1 minus a quarter equals 3 over 4 the right side, 2R. Both sides divided by 2, so we get R equals 3 over A. That's the radius. So the area of the circle equals pi R squared, plug in, pi times 3 over 8 squared. So the final answer should be 9 pi over 60. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.